For Chasm Radio, I'm Farm Director Joel Gill. We're here at World Dairy Expo in Madison, Wisconsin. We have a chance to visit with Ashley Brandle joining us this morning. And Ashley, congratulations. You, you're a big winner again. Describe uh, the contest and, and what you won. Um, I won grand champion for the Milk and Shorthorn Cow Show. And I was very surprised and nervous. And you were here, I, I saw you walk by and I said, boy, I recognize you from last year. So now are you a repeat winner with the same animal? or? Yes, um, I won two times with my cow named Fudge. Your cow named Fudge. And you're also talking, we were talking before this, I said, did you just start showing cattle? And you said, no, basically since you were in your stroller, right? Kind of describe how long you've been showing cattle. Um, I've been showing since I was... I was on my feet about when I was two and a half and showing my own calf. And yeah, I just got better and better as I went. So what's the key about Fudge? What does Fudge, why does Fudge stand out so much uh, to receive top honors? What do you think uh, she does so well? Um, she's a very unique cow. She has very different attitudes at times. Like she does not uh, act well with my dad. She'll be like perfect for me on the halter. and. Um, I just think she stands out the most because she's so unique and she has just a really good frame and udder and all that. Did you know going into this year you had a chance to win again? Um, I kind of was a 50-50. I didn't really know. <laughs> so it so all goes into getting Fudge ready for like World Dairy Expo. I mean, do you do other contests during the year? Or? Um, yeah, I took her to the Open State Fair and <clears throat> got grand champion there this year and I don't know we just I just like walk her at home give her lots of baths so she's ready for uh, World Dairy Expo. So describe to somebody who maybe has never shown or been at World Dairy Expo what kind of investment is it I mean it's a 24-7 job here at the show right? Yeah um for the FFA kids that I saw coming in, I was like, I would like to be an FFA teacher so I could teach the kids like how to react to cows and all that because some people have never seen a cow before or have maybe have but never really touched a cow or walked a cow before. You mentioned you still get a little nervous, but that's kind of okay when you're showing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like to be nervous because you never know what it's going to bring. Mm -hmm. Describe, do you live on a farm or do you have your cattle at a different location or describe that for us? Um, I live on a farm with about 40 head of, head of beef and some of our heifers, probably 15 or 20 of them. And then we milk at Shosta Holstein's like five miles down the road. All right. Do you get a chance to meet other, anybody else from different states or different areas or even different countries here at Expo at all? Um, yeah, we have a... We kind of explore and meet new people here because I just find it fun to do that and meet new people and like try to learn some other different languages. Well, besides showing cattle, what other activities? You mentioned you're in sixth grade. What other things do you do in your free time? Um, I really like outdoors. I'm not really inside at all. Um, I like to play basketball with my siblings and I like to, I run a lot. I do cross country, so I run a lot. So can I ask if you're a Packers or a Vikings fan? I'm a Packers fan. <laughs> so is my son. He's eight, and he's a Packer fan, too. Well, Ashley, congratulations. We'll do a World Dairy Expo high five. Congratulations once again. And I'm going to have to run over and take a picture of Fudge, if that's okay. So. Thank you. You bet. Thank you for your time. Here for Chasm Radio, we're broadcasting at World Dairy Expo, year number 51 in Madison, Wisconsin. I'm Chasm Radio Farm Director Joe Gill.